Championship Pyramid Formation. That's the voice of Red One you can hear. He's just called the Jets now into Eight Arrow. The Jets will now collapse to around six feet away from each other. They're forming the shape of one big red arrow with those eight Jets. And in this left-hand turn, Red One leading the team, squadron leader David Montenegro. It's his first year as the team leader. He is a former Tornado F3 Air Defence Pilot and also Hawk Flying Instructor. He then joined the Red Arrows for the first time in 2009, flying till 2011. Coming in for the left is a tarot. during our training we actually have what we call loser plans where we can then practice our formations with reds two to nine missing so that we can cater for either aircraft unserviceabilities or pilot sickness so that's exactly what we're putting into practice now our nine out loser plan you can see there red nine is missing he would normally be the lowest most aircraft at the back in this formation which is chevron so we're putting into practice our loser plans well on the leader's right wing is Red 2. He's the first of our three new pilots. He's Flight Lieutenant Mike Bowden. <coughs> Mike is a former Hawk flying instructor. And in operation, he moved on to fly both the Harrier GR9 and the Tornado GR4 before he joined the Red Arrows. Now over North Pier, we're in a reversal. Get ready for eight headlights. Cameras ready as we show you Chevron. <laughs> At the front near the leader, and as their proficiency improves, they drop further back in the formation. <laughs> well, on the leader's left wing is the next of our new pilots. He is Red 3, one of them, Emmett Cox. Now, Cox is actually from New Zealand, but he moved to the UK in 2002 to join the Royal Air Force and became a Tornado GR4 pilot and Tucano flying instructor, teaching basic fast jet training. Out to the front left is a new shape. Now you've got to use your imagination here, as we are missing Red 9. But this year, you've already heard from Brendan that we are celebrating the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Britain this year. So now, we've put this shape in this year to honour all of those chaps in the summer of 1940 for securing our sky. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Spitfire! Britain worked hard to secure our skies. Everybody in the Royal Air Force had their own part to play, whether they were plotters, observers, armourers, mechanics, pilots, air traffic controllers, everybody did their part to make sure that the skies of the United Kingdom were secure. And today it's no different. The Royal Air Force operates on the whole force concept, working with regulars, reservists, civil servants and contractors in a very a variety of branches and trades to ensure that the Royal Air Force can deliver its output. That's exactly what happened today. In from the left, once again lopsided, camera's ready for our trademark, Diamond. <coughs> the lowermost aircraft as you're looking at it is flown by the last of our new pilots, he's Red 5, flight instead of Tom Bowles. Tom started off his career in the Royal Air Force as an instructor on the Tucano, teaching basic fast jet training. He then moved on to fly the Typhoon, the Eurofighter Typhoon. You saw it display a couple of hours ago, the Royal Air Force's newest multi-role combat aircraft. And Tom's role, primary role on that aircraft was exactly what I've just been talking about, securing the skies. The Royal Air Force's Typhoon Force is at readiness 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days of the year to ensure that the airspace of the United Kingdom and in fact the Falkland Islands are secure. Now you can see our diamond has widened out to the right over the North Pier. This is ready for a new manoeuvre for 2015 as they roll out the smoke comes on. Getting ready for the whirlwind. 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 Now. Each of the pilots there in the whirlwind. 
Well, I want to call an A or one roll manoeuvre, essentially just a full left-hand control column in front, and that rolls the aircraft rapidly around its longitudinal axis. The key to the whirlwind is getting all eight aircraft doing it at exactly the same time. Now looking out to the front left, you'll see this formation is collapsing. We designed a display where our shape changes actually form part of the routine, and we've gone from that very wide, loose diamond shape into now a much smaller shape, and I'll talk more about that in just a second. goes off, we formed another shape, again using your imagination, back left you would see Red 9, but this is now the plan form of a former, very fast US spy plane from the 1960s through to the 80s. Officially it was known as the SR-71, but we call it Blackbird. of the first part now of the Red Arrows display where you've so far seen all eight aircraft performing various different shapes and aerobatic maneuvers. Well now we're going to split down into sections of two, three, four, five or six jets for some more even dynamic performing.